Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea, owner of Adore the Couture, where we sell and source luxury designer goods. We have a new set and lots of new YouTube videos coming your way. So today, to set things off, we've got one of the rarest Hermes handbags in the world. Let's get into it. So this is one of the most coveted bags on the market right now. And y'all know I love a mini bag. This is the dun -da -da -da, Birkin 20 Cellier Faborg, aka House Birkin in the Midnight Colorway. Oh my God, you guys. As you can see, this bag does come with their limited edition boxing. And instead of the traditional dust bag, it comes with a silk navy blue dust bag as well. She's so tiny and cute. And of course we've got the booklet and the sides, of course, because this bag does have exotic leather on it. Hermes first released the House Birkin in 2019 in the first two colorways, which were a day and night version in deep blue and gold madam leather. And in 2021, they released two more colorways, Midnight and Snowy. This one is the Midnight, and don't worry, you guys, we do have the snowy and we will be doing a video of that as well. I wanna show you guys next to the typical smallest Birkin, which is a 25, how much smaller the 20 is. So we've got the 20 versus 25 and look how tiny she is. So I know a lot of people feel like the Birkin 25 is really small, but you can at least put your hand through this one. You can get a couple fingers through, but she is definitely not for the wrist. Now the Birkin 25 is a retourne, which is more relaxed. And I've only seen the Birkin 20s in the Cellier style. So it's more structured. And you know what, I think it would be fun to show you guys all the different sizes from smallest to biggest. So we've got baby all the way to the big boy. 20, 25, 30, and 35. This was like the most popular size in the 2000s and is like the typical Birkin size. This is more of like the medium. This is the more coveted small, and this is the even more coveted tiny little baby. Look at that. The Faborg, AKA House Birkin, pays homage to Hermes's flagship store in Paris, which depicts the scene, and this one in particular, at midnight. Picture this, it's midnight in Paris at the Faborg location, pitch black, the walls are black, the hardware is eclipsed, but the lights are still on and the party's still going. One of the reasons why the midnight version is so coveted is the limited edition so black PVD hardware used on it. This scene is created in leather applique that requires meticulous attention to details, combining six different materials, precious, smooth, and grained leathers. The design of the bag even emulates the store's orange awnings seen hanging over the windows on the building. One of my favorite little details of this bag is the clochette is actually made to look like a little shopping bag. It's so cute, like a little Hermes shopping bag. And another little detail I noticed is that they did not use the So Black PVD hardware on the keys. Interesting, I wonder why. The exterior of this bag is crafted in five different leathers, while the interior is lined with a luxurious chevre masseur. Matte alligator is seen on the handles, front flap, and sangles of the bag. Noir, black madame leather for the base of the bag and the main body. Black sombrero leather for the trim and window frames. Jean Swift leather for the window panes. Orange H Swift leather for the awnings and the adorable shopping bag clochette. If there's any bag that's gonna give you a return on your investment, she's the one baby. This bag retails at the store for about $30,000 and the resale value is anywhere between $250 to $300,000. And anyone looking for their Midnight Faberg Birkin, don't you worry guys, we do have it for sale at Adore the Couture, as well as the white one, which we will also do another video for. Let me know in the comment section which is your 
favorite version of the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unbox this insanely rare Hermes House Birkin 20 in the midnight colorway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe and follow me for daily content on Instagram at adorethecouture underscore official. That is my new page, so make sure to follow. Thanks again. Bye guys.